Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jay here, AKA Mojo Sports, coming at you guys with a new video. We've got a ton of mail to open from the past week, so we're gonna get into that. Also, doing a mail day in the backyard, what's up? Nice little day today, um, happy Valentine's Day. Also, if you're watching this, the Rams just won the Super Bowl yesterday. I, I enjoyed the Super Bowl. I did not have a favorite in it. I don't know if you guys did, but um, I was thinking about, you know, I was happy for Stafford. Obviously, Burrow would've been cool. Kind of disappointed at the end with the Burrow fling up, but it was cool. Um, I don't know how it affects the hobby or anything Anything like that maybe I guess if Burrow would have won I guess it would have affected a little bit but I didn't have any cards of either of those guys or most of those teams honestly it was just one of those times where I could actually just enjoy the Super Bowl and uh kind of just see how a good a good game you know so um pretty cool right there also commercials for the Super Bowl I feel like it was not great but the halftime show with Dr. Dre and everything else it was awesome so there's my Super Bowl sum up um had a good time you know watching the game and, and hanging out so with that let's open some mail here we go so I got a couple things in um I'm actually not sure we're gonna open all this live so uh, I'm not sure what we're opening. So we'll kind of just see. Uh, it's going to be a surprise. It's funny. I always joke around about live mail days on YouTube. We always used to love live mail days because we were sending each other packages like they were uh, like just because is or you knew somebody collected, you know, boogie or they collected, you know, a certain team. Wow, this got here quick. This is a cool card. You would send them those cards. You just find their address or you would have done a trade with them and you just send it to them. And then you just to see their reaction. I mean, literally, you just saw my reaction. Like if I didn't show you this live, you would have been like, I wonder, like, I guess you wouldn't have wondered when I got the card, but I ordered this card like two nights ago. So um, anyway, from 2013, Topps Crumb to X-Fractor. I'm a San Francisco Giants fan. I always appreciated this guy. A little Buster Posey uh, X-Fractor. Lighting's kind of weird here. So, so I guess that's the perk of maybe opening in the backyard. Can't really see the card. That's going to bother. That's going to, not only is it going to bother you guys, but it's really going to bother me. So we are going to transition here. Let's see where the lighting works. It's really going to bother me. I don't know. This isn't supposed to be a vlog. <laughs> this is also not supposed to be a backyard tour. I don't know, man. The lighting's weird here. The sun hasn't really come up even though it's like 11 o'clock kind of trying to find a neutral area i mean that's cool you can see the card right let's just do this all right so there you go x fractor 2013 my senior year of high school pretty cool right there like that and uh well looks like i have to go grab the rest of the mail be right back Talk about the most impromptu way to open mail. I'm just like totally just changing it up here. We'll make it work though. Here we go. Let's just do the next package. So shout out to Roger. He see me cutting with a knife and I get it. Probably not the best move. So he gave me this thing. Watch this. I'm telling you guys, I don't even know what you call this thing. All right, you see that? And it's not that sharp. But anyway, my point about the live mail day was the Buster Posey came quick. Thank you for your purchase. I hope you enjoy the card. Thanks again. Blair Brian Jansen. Oh, dude, this is a nice card, actually. This is a very nice card. So he's been doing a lot of stuff in the hobby, um, this player, and uh, kind of just picking up some of his cards here and there. Figured I'd uh, jump on the train and pick up his purple. Man, the cards look good in this lighting. Look at that. Out of 250, Blaze Jordan out of 250 right there. Awesome dude. He was a third rounder for the uh, Boston Red Sox. So cool to see that. And him and Michael Carter Williams are doing a, uh, you know, celebrities opening cards deal and they're kind of teaming up with whatnot so cool to see him kind of getting in the hobby blaze jordan like i said i've been picking up some of his stuff randomly i picked up his purple i thought this was a cool card yeah i just i went for it um also centering was pretty good i figured i'd pull the trigger i lost the aquas i tried to bid on the aquas they went for 60 70 dollars and i was just like so upset and discouraged so i went and got this and i re the reason i picked purple i guess because the kings um also i was just like well you don't really see this one so i went for it so blaze jordan right there pretty cool so you'll start seeing me pick pick up some of his stuff uh, maybe if I'm at shows or just randomly anyway next package I should have used this I'm not even I'm not using the thing all right I need a chair I'm getting old no, I've been playing ball um, we got the culture collision tournament coming up I'm under 30 and I'm, I'm complaining already not good I was just I was just talking to somebody about this I didn't want to be I was worried about turning the dirty 30 one day <laughs> which isn't happening for a couple of years thank God all right here we go next up oh this is really cool this is actually really sick so I guess I don't know what I'm opening but I happen to pick out these packages I left like three others that I was like eh, maybe maybe I'll open those on the next one Demarcus Cousins gold out of 10 boom 7 to 10 mosaic gold 2016 17 so this was like 30 to 40 bucks and I love PC and boogie you know stuff like this I can pick up you know affordable pricing 2016 17 panini prism but I know realistically I'm not gonna own every Demarcus Cousins best card out there but when I can pick up the card like this I mean I'm going for it so I mean it wasn't too expensive obviously you know another thing too is like I'm home so I can like I'm buying more cards online now I love buying at the shows and I still will buy at shows but for me to get the chance to buy you know this boogie card it, it's it's like for me to be home and, and just going on eBay and be like wow that's on eBay I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that I'm gonna do a buy it now right now on that thing so pretty cool right there gold boogie out of 10 I think it was a buy it now unless it was an offer I know it was like 30 40 bucks so pretty cool right there I really like that card and then we got three more packages left let's open this bigger one I don't know what's in here what do you guys been picking up that's what I want to know 
Uh oh, we got stock X P PSA. What's this? Just some slabs in here. I think I did pick up some slabs. This actually, this actually might have some really cool stuff in it. There's like low pop stuff in here, if I'm if I'm correct. I picked these up on eBay. I liked what this guy had on eBay. And oh yeah, it is. Let's go, man. I I must be I must have missed when I bought stuff, or I was just not ready for this. But oh, these are cool. So this is actually really cool mail day. Picked up a, just like a bunch of slabs from this one dude, and I liked what he had on the prices, so I went for the buy it now as in combined shipping. Matt Chapman Refractor Bowman uh, from 2014. Nice card right there. Pops, Matt Chapman. Look at that. So I like him for the A's. And then let's keep going here. Little 1991 Proline Portraits, 7.5, Bill Belichick. There he is. Look at that. All right. And then we got the 1992 Pro Set, Bill Belichick, HC on top back, PSA 9. Had to pick that up right there. And then I, I don't, you know, I don't have anything political, but I just thought these were cool. This is George Bush throwing out the first pitch. And I, I didn't even see these graded. I looked on PSA's pop report. There might be less than 20 of these. I had to go for it. It's from 2011 Allen and Ginter. I mean, this is him throwing the first pitch out after, uh, you know, 9-11. I've never really uh, owned or seen this card. I thought it was cool. And I thought the price was great. And there was like 15 people watching them. And I was like, man, these are low pop. I've been kind of talking about pop, but also one of my buddies, you know, I know he's, I know he's big into this kind of stuff. So I'm going to give him one of the nines for like birthday or Christmas. But these other ones, I don't know. These are kind of cool. So I'll read the back to you. With a sellout crowd at Yankee Stadium, this is kind of why I, I thought this was so cool. Uh, Yankee Stadium chanting USA, USA. President George W. Bush stood on the mound before game three of 2001 World Series, symbolizing the resolve of the American people in the wake of the 9 11 terrorist attacks. Bush, a former co owner of the Texas Rangers, I didn't know that, fired a strike to catcher Todd Green after serving eight years in the White House. Bush ret returned to Dallas where he remains an ardent Rangers fan. Just a cool looking card, part of history. Um, I just, I thought it were awesome. So I've been picking up some little oddball things here and there. Um, this is stuff I, I'd probably bring, like I'd probably bring the 10 and the nine to a show and then the other one I would just probably keep it. So pretty cool right there. These, those are definitely something different. Um, next, we'll get into this package and then we got one more after this. Pretty good mail day. I, man, this is why I tell you I open live. I, I didn't expect a lot of this stuff to come in. Oh snap. Yo, you guys are gonna laugh. Oh man, <laughs> read comics with me. I, I know he buys for me and, and all that stuff. I pulled a, uh, I don't know, this got a return to sender. So I'm gonna have to send this back to you. This is why we open live. So he picked up, <laughs> this isn't even me. He bought a Gary Trent auto. He's playing unbelievable this year. And he bought a Jay-Z rookie. So I don't know, read comics. What happened there? But this got sent back to me. Oh man, shout out. Okay, so dude, there was a label on the back. Okay, I am shocked right now. I There is two labels on this thing. So they sent it back to me. I I think I accidentally had put left a label on the back of this. So this is supposed to go to read comics. So read comics. I'm gonna get that fixed up. I'm gonna send you a couple extra Raptors cards. Don't worry about it. Crazy though. This person sent this back, whoever this was, or it was USPS. I don't know. Someone did the right thing here. That's all I'm gonna say. That's pretty cool. Cause that's like, that's like a $70 order right there. So that's amazing. So that'll get shipped back out. So there you go. That's why you open live. I just got a mail day back from uh, something I literally packaged last week. Last mail day coming up. Some more PSA stuff. I got stop using my hands i just gotta trust i gotta trust the cutter all right look at this so the sun's blinding but i think you guys can see the cards oh we got some kobe stuff in here these are really cool another guy on ebay had some really cool stuff up i just i went for it look at all these slabs actually this is gonna be great i probably picked up more slabs in this mail day than i have all year um which has been what a month ah, this is stupid why did i say that uh anyway you get what i'm saying i guess i should say in the last couple months there you go awesome oh, jordans let's go okay so and ronaldo ah, i love it all right here we go guys i picked up all these slabs wow Look at all these slabs. All right, bulk ordered these slabs. Rule of thumb, little, uh, you know, tip or whatever. I don't even know if it's a tip. I think everybody knows this. You see a seller on eBay, they got a bunch of slabs or cards you want. You, If you buy multiples, they'll do combined shipping. So you don't have to pay 350 shipping, 350 shipping, 350 shipping. It ends up being like $10 shipping overall and you buy all slabs like this. You, I mean, think about it. That's what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36. So I saved probably like 30 to $40 because if I would have bought these from individual people on eBay. Yeah, I would have paid three bucks shipping every single time plus tax and all that stuff. Um, just combined it up and I found slabs that I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy slabs from this guy. I don't know who this is, but I like the prices. Like there was nothing where I was like, maybe I should make an offer on these. It was just like, yo, these prices are phenomenal. So here we go. Picked up the 2016. Yo, the squirrels are going crazy up there. There you go. Uh, 2016 Panini Select, Ronaldo PSA 8 right there. I figure with PSA slabs, I know you can PSA slab for 50 bucks. They had like some like raffle format for that, but I mean, it's still hundred bucks a slab. And these next ones are just cool 
cards. And this, some of these are nostalgic for me. So 1998 Kobe, 8.5. I think this was like 20 to 25 bucks. And it's great. You know, can't beat that. I think that's what that one was. Next, I thought this was sick. I bought this because I like the two players. Barry Bonds and Griffey on the same card. Tops All-Stars. This is from 1995 PSA 8, right? This is, goes back to, you know, the last video I made about PSA Pop Reports. There's also an affordable scale to, the, to that video where it's like kids can afford the cards, which someone said in the comments. That was a great point. I didn't really touch on that. And also, you know, for me to pick up uh, or collectors to pick up, you know, cards like the ones I'm showing you, you know, not too expensive. PSA 7 Jordan, you know, from, this is from 1999. Just seeing these cards in the slab is pretty cool. Obviously they're sevens, but um, I'm happy with it. Jordan. Uh, Neymar PSA 9. I watched the documentary on this guy. Really like him. It's on Netflix. So I decided to pick up one card of him. I'm not picking up. When I pick up guys like that, I don't pick up 20, 30 cards of them. I just pick up like a couple, you know, but um, 2001 Fleer Maximum PSA 7. This card's sick. Kobe dunking right there. I mean, I'll find Kobe cards like this raw for five to ten dollars at shows, which is like I could buy the card graded. Got a 7.5. I love this card. This is from uh, 1999 Upper Deck. Lakers win 61 games. Bryant scores 25 as the Lakers season finale. Here's Kobe's got right there expression. So rest in peace, Kobe. You guys will see me pick up a lot of Kobe this year. I promise you. Kobe right there. Same card. This is a great one. Skybox Z Force 1997 Kobe. See the cards look great. Uh, this is cool. 1998 Michael Jordan Upper Deck. Cool facial expression on that one. Any slab Jordans and Kobe's, I, I'm just, I'm cool with it. This isn't, I'm not breaking the bank on these. So, 97 Jordan. Um, and then my favorite one, where I gotta choose between 2001 and 97. I'm gonna choose 2001 because that was, all right. So 97 hoops, Kobe. And then the last card, ladies and gentlemen, 2001 Upper Deck MVP, 01. Classic year right here. Love this card, Kobe. Cool looking card. So that's the mail. I hope you guys enjoy it. Tons of slabs. I had to move from two locations, open mail with my hands, with the cutter, trying to get the lighting right, everything else, and it worked out good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We're almost to 20,000, and if you want to leave a comment um, what you're picking up or something you liked in the video, I really appreciate that. And also, I'm I'm live on whatnot uh, twice a week. My link will be down below. Click the link. You can get your first $10 to spend on there uh, once you make the purchase, and I hope everyone has a great week. Happy Valentine's Day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.